Maris Regional Initiative that is dealing with migration, asylum and refugees topics. And it is established in 2004 uh, by uh, Albania, uh, Serbia, Montenegro, Bosnia, at that time Croatia uh, and Macedonia. And from 10th of June of this year, uh, we have also Kosovo. And uh, now we call it uh, six participants. Uh, Croatia uh, went out because it's a member of the European uh, Union and has uh, uh, its own, like member uh, country, its own uh, ways and mechanisms uh, to deal with uh, these topics. And now six uh, Western Balkan participants uh, have uh, their common mechanism to deal with the problems with the actual, uh, uh, let's say, migration phenomenon. And not only migration phenomenon but and topics related to this, but also with the refugees that uh, we have from uh, uh, our recent past and uh, refugees that need to be addressed in, uh, uh, let's say, adequate way. So it's some kind of unique uh, uh, structure in the region that is dealing with actual problems and uh, it acts like a, an advocate of uh, the interests of the Western Balkan countries when it comes to the mandate and also some kind of catalyst of the replies, responses of Western Balkan countries to the actual situation. Can you tell me something about the priorities of the Montenegrin presidency this year? Yes, uh, uh, this year Montenegro, uh, let's say, decided to uh, upgrade uh, uh, activities of MARI uh, at, uh, let's say, uh, two levels. One level is uh, to uh, reorganize and restructure MARI uh, in direction that it will become an efficient uh, regional structure dealing with the needs of the countries but uh, in a manner that is expected and uh, adequate to functioning in the European Union, which means that uh, we'll try to be much more efficient, much more visible, and much more, uh, let's say, advocates of the interests of Western Balkan participants uh, or uh, Western Balkans uh, uh, in uh, communication with the EU institutions, with the international community, and to try to upgrade the expertise in Mari and among our uh, uh, countries in uh, our public administrations that are dealing with uh, 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 topics of migration, asylum and refugees. This is, uh, let's say, internal aspect of uh, uh, Montenegrin presidency when it comes to Mari. And the external one is that uh, we uh, will try to, let's say, enhance uh, cooperation with the other regional structures and enhance cooperation with uh, international partners to deal with uh, legal, illegal migration, uh, refugees and uh, asylum. So uh, let's say that uh, in more specific terms, this means that uh, we'll try to act as uh, one stakeholder uh, uh, all the Western Balkans uh, and advocate our common interests and these common interests will be based on the consensus of the priorities and uh, these priorities will be, uh, uh, let's say, presented to European Union and other important stakeholders. Let's say that the Western Balkans uh, always lives uh, historical times. We're used to it, uh, just to, not to be too serious. But the situation is not, uh, let's say, simple. The situation is uh, quite complex as uh, our countries uh, uh, are passing through more than two decades uh, transition periods. Uh, we have our own history that dealt with the conflicts in, in the Western Balkans. We have. Uh, uh, let's say, uh, democratic processes that are still in progress and uh, we're building our societies uh, in direction of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, um, European Union membership. So we have uh, a lot of uh, challenges uh, from social, economic and security uh, point of view that we need to uh, cope with. And at the same time, uh, we have this uh, uh, new phenomenon dealing with the migrants that are coming from uh, Middle East and Africa uh, to our countries. They're usually passing through our countries, but this doesn't mean that uh, this is not a burden in terms of uh, institutions, in terms of security, in terms of financial means that our countries allocate for, uh, uh, let's say, dealing adequately with uh, uh, migrants that are coming to our countries. And in this moment, Macedonia and Serbia are the most affected uh, 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 countries in the region. This doesn't mean that uh, in the let's say, next few months this will not happen to Albania, Montenegro and Bosnia. And we are trying to 
uh, let's say, uh, uh, continue and maintain uh, a regular dialogue among countries, how we can address together this situation. Uh, the priority of Mari in this moment, uh, when it comes to the uh, crisis and migrants, is to, uh, let's say, advocate and talk with the uh, uh, European Union about the urgent need to assist Macedonia and Serbia in dealing with, uh, uh, with the migration crisis. I will give you a few, uh, let's say, uh, figures that will uh, make the picture clearer. Uh, from 2009 till nowadays, uh, 1.1 million uh, uh, migrants pass through Macedonian territory. And in this moment, for the six uh, uh, months, uh, uh, more than uh, 70,000 people asked asylum uh, uh, from Macedonian authorities and uh, more than 66,000 uh, 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 asked uh, uh, from Serbian authorities. So you can imagine uh, uh, what kind of pressure uh, uh, will uh, uh, produce uh, uh, these facts and uh, uh, this number of people uh, if they, uh, uh, let's say, achieve this status in uh, these two countries. And another figure that is, for me, uh, very picturesque uh, when it comes to the pressure uh, for our countries is that Macedonia in this moment daily allocates 50,000 euro to uh, deals adequately with all procedures that are needed to uh, uh, be carried out to, in order to, to let's say, accept and uh, uh, pass through the territory uh, migrants that are coming. So, uh, uh, let's say, we need uh, uh, assistance and this assistance uh, should be uh, uh, urgent and uh, uh, very effective and uh, uh, we expect it uh, uh, from, let's say, our most important strategic partners, and this is European Union, this is, uh, let's say, uh, United Nations, and these are crucial, uh, uh, let's say, members of the uh, uh, European community. Uh, what do you think are some of the possibilities of cooperation and sy synergies with the CEI on this issue? Well, uh, we have commenced this uh, dialogue about possible uh, uh, ways of cooperation a few weeks ago and uh, last night I had uh, very constructive talks with uh, Mr. Ugo Poli and today with uh, Secretary General Ambassador Caracciolo and there is a vast space for uh, uh, cooperation, uh, both short-term, effective, uh, when it comes to the previous topic, and also long-term uh, cooperation. So, strategically, we will uh, sign very soon uh, a memorandum of understanding. We will try to develop together uh, a project, projects that are need-based, need-based, uh, uh, let's say, based on the needs of uh, uh, MARI participants, six MARI participants, and their institutions, and uh, uh, we'll try to make some kind of synergy of uh, our uh, capacities, uh, both human and finance, and also try to uh, make some kind of partnership when it comes to the European funds and uh, drawing European funds for our countries. Okay, thank you. Welcome.